I may have a cold and I may sound really quirky, but I am still determined to film this video. <laughs> also, do you like my white headband? It's basically in celebration of the Halloween range a lot because I am obsessed. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. As you can tell, it is one of my favourite ever videos to film when it hits September, nearing October and the last showcase is coming up. That's when I get super excited for all the like seasonal Lush collections to come out, especially Halloween, which is what today's video is about. And as you can tell, I have my pumpkin here, my headband on, and I've got a lovely bag of goodies to show you guys. And yes, this is last year's bag because I keep the bags. And I thought I'd use this one because it's pretty and it'll look great in the thumbnail. <laughs> so this year's Halloween range is actually much smaller than previous years. I feel like they wanted to focus on more bath stuff. So I've got every single bath item except Ectoplasm Jelly Bomb, which I wasn't a big fan of last year. So I didn't want to waste my own money on it. But it seems the brand wanted to focus on ectoplasm in general so there is a few and my battery is coming I will be back soon <laughs> as I was saying basically there's a lot of ectoplasm products for this Halloween so not only do you have the jelly bomb there is also a shower cream a perfume a solid perfume and a wash card and I actually really really like the scent I just don't like the jelly bomb to be honest but the scent itself is really nice and we'll get more into those bits later but yeah so there is a soap like I said the ectoplasm stuff and then you got your usual bath bits which like classic ones like sparks I'm getting a bag yum so without further ado let's just get delving into this massive bird because I'm excited to show you guys so let's start with the Ectoplasm Shower Cream because this is a new product and it's really really cool and luminescently green yellow and I absolutely love it. It actually says shower scream on the bottle which I think is hilarious. And for the scent you've got tangerine water, tangerine juice, there's grapefruit oil, grapefruit juice as well and there's almond oil. And because it's a cream, there's also fair trade garlic cocoa butter in there. And let me give it a smell. I do get a hint of this tangerine, but because I got cold, my sense of smell is sadly very minimal. So <laughs> that makes me really sad. But it's a really, really nice shower cream that is also by sea salt, which is kind of a bit surprising. I don't know, but. That is that, and it's also self preserving, which is great. And I got a little 110 grams because I love buying tiny little seasonal shower gels and creams when they're available because my collection just looks super cute when I do. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. The soap is called Ghost in the Dark, and it is literally a little ghost. So he looks like this, he smells. So citrusy, it's unreal and I absolutely love the design of him. Just looks so cute, look at his little happy face, he's a happy little ghost. Aww. So in here we've got bergamot oil, extra virgin coconut oil, fair trade garlic cocoa butter as well, garlic castor oil and he actually glows in the dark which is incredible and that is due to the luminescent zinc sulfide. So that basically is natural because it's phosphorescent powder. I'm sorry, that was a terrible pronunciation. But it's basically made with a zinc sulfide combined with a copper additive. And after a day spent absorbing energy with natural artificial light, thanks to copper, your soul is safe. It will glow in the dark to better haunt your dreams and helps you find the soap if you forget to pay the electric bill. So, yeah, that's a really, really cool fact. So, when you pop him in the bathroom and you open the door and you close the door, you can see him glow. It's really cool. I've tried it in my cupboard and he looks really spooky. So, I can't wait to 
use him and the fair trade girl at Cookie Party is going really, really nourishing on their hands, which is great because as it gets colder, my hands get crustier, so I need all the moisture I can get. So those were the two products I bought that weren't blast off, so I didn't get the Ekbasm water card or the solid perfume or perfume because I wanted to just stick with shower cream and I'm kind of a little bit sad I don't have the little sugar scrub this year or the tint but oh well I'm just all about the baths which we will get into now so I think we should just get the classics out of the way because they are just amazing and the sun has come out thank you for ruining my videos since 2015 so the first one is like what is Lush Halloween without this product not Lush Halloween and of course it is Lord of Miz Rule. Yes! And I feel like he's changed this year. For some reason he looks a bit flatter. Like they sort of squished this purple a little bit. I love the chili black pepper and vanilla together. It's so spicy and warming but really sweet at the same time. As this is a reference to Lord of Miz Roy, this classic one has a little crown and it's just a really, really nice, pretty yet simple design. I absolutely love it. And if you don't know, he makes like really pretty smells of green and like winey red. And then at the end, your bath will look like you're bathing in a glass of red wine. It's amazing. And I will demo this on my lunch Instagram, which will be linked in the description box at the top. So definitely check it out if you want to see pictures of all these bath products as well and the other one is obviously Kalaka Scented I recently got the body lotion that Shabby Love in the kitchen and I am living for it and this is of course Monsters Ball which I was so happy to find out has returned because he is my absolute favourite for just being at Germany looking really pretty in the bath He's a little pink monster, totally my aesthetic. He's got a white chocolate eye and he's just really, really cute. He's gonna look so pretty in a bath. Just look at him and he's a little blue ear things. <laughs> but yeah, he makes really, really pretty purple swirl in the bath and he just makes a bath a really enjoyable piece to be. I just love the smell of lime. Like, this is like a really nice warming light scent it all day and I'm so glad I can actually smell it through my cold. <laughs> I was so happy this one returned because I love the small berry scent of this one. This one is a bubble bar and came out for the first time last year and it's so cute. It's of course the Bewitch bubble bar which oh, I just can't stop smelling it. And you know when large Halloween is here where they bring out the cute spooky products and this is just right on my street and this is just bringing me all the happy memories of using this last year for the first time. So I can't wait to use this little guy in my bath. It is the cutest cat ever and I love his little eyes. Really, really cute and spooky. I just absolutely love him. He also makes the bath really, really black, which is absolutely the height of Halloween vibes and matching my lipstick. So I'm really happy and excited to have a black bath because going to be really really dark. Bewitched also has olibanum and bergamot but it, it smells like black currant. It's really 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 nice and FYI Monsters Ball was Neroni, Himalayan salt and olibanum as well. The next one is of course another cult large Halloween classic. It is obviously a bubble bar and it is orange and pretty and what every Halloween should be or every autumn season it should involve and that is Sparkly Milky! Yay! Grapefruit in there makes it so warming and it's going to go over there. I try to choose the biggest one so I can get more bars out of it but I just can't stop smelling it and it's just so pretty. Like it. I just love how they design this one as well. If you don't know, they actually use a whisk in the factory and just press it into the top of the bubble bar and it sets and that makes like the little cracks in the pumpkin. It's just so cool and just 
a favourite of mine, like if Spark Pumpkin doesn't come out every year for Lush Halloween, it is not Lush Halloween and I think I'm saying this about every single product in its collection but it's just the best thing ever and my hands and fingers are covered in glitter, ah, it's gonna get everywhere. I regret my decisions, but I love my decisions in life. <laughs> and the last product is actually a new one. I was really sad I didn't bring back the pumpkin bath one because that smelled like pumpkin pie and everything autumnal and it was the best one ever. But when I saw this one, I'm like, I can kind of forgive you for this for breaking my heart because this smells divine and looks so cool in the bath. And it is called Eyeball Bath Bomber. Just look at it, it's a natural eyeball. And you've got lavender in there. I can't remember what else. Let me get my phone. So you also have rose, lavender, and brilliant orange oil, lang lang as well. So it's a really nice floral, sweet, fruity bath. And when you pop him in, that's when the goal starts because the little red orangey bit, the ready orangey bit of the eye just starts to fizzle out and he hollows out and it looks like a gory eye that's been punching and it's just bloody and it looks really spooky, really gory and really Halloween y and I am living for it and I can't wait to take pictures from my life's Instagram and I just love the smell really relaxing as well which is really really kind of to stuff because you're gonna see an eye look horrible in a bath but the scent is really like calming <laughs> I don't know I mean just like it isn't that like the coolest design ever I love how they made the little middle bit of the eye just come out first and then you just left with the white it just makes a really, really pretty Halloween bar. So that is everything in this Halloween collection that I bought. And even though it's quite small this year, I feel like they've upped their game even more and just made a really good Stella collection, which is really exciting. And all of it's really nice, autumnal, relaxing and spooky, which I am living for. So if you guys enjoyed this video and got inspiration, for what you want to pick up when you next pop into Lush, then do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below what your favourite product is from this range. I'd love to know. And even though I love everything, I have to say, what's this full bar form? This little guy is actually my favourite out of the whole range. Even though I do love the Roaches Barky Monkey, but for the colour and the smell, because I love Kalaka so much at the moment, it is right up there in my top five season products and um, I didn't realise I was made for the top five but you know <laughs> I will see you guys next week for another video as well it will be a very very different and it will be uploaded really early because I am away for a work trip at the end of the week which is super super exciting but means I work hard to film so that'll be up in the middle of the week instead and yeah hope you guys have an amazing rest of the week and I will see you next time. Bye!